Many people are worried that AI is gonna come for their jobs, but there's one person, a specific person who might have to worry who previously wasn't. Did you know that AI might be coming for the job of Pope? At least when it comes to public appearances, because this is the puffy Pope. Take a look at this. This tweet saying the boys in Brooklyn could only hope for this level of drip. It's a very fashionable Pope, all puffed up with this high fashion coat, also available in orange if you prefer. Um, you might be suspecting with these images that this is not actually the Pope. Uh, no, these are uh, AI generated images. Uh, the Balenciaga Pope creator, created by Pablo Xavier, a construction worker based in the Chicago area. And so uh, he made these images using Mid Journey uh, earlier this month. And the idea occurred to him apparently when he was tripping on shrooms, because why not? Saying, I'm trying to figure out ways to make something funny, because that's what I usually try to do. Try to do funny stuff or trippy art, psychedelic stuff. It just dawned on me, I should do the Pope. Then it was just coming like water. The Pope in Balenciaga puffy coat, Montclair walking the streets of Rome, Paris, stuff like that. So here's the thing, you might be wondering, well, what's the difference? There's a lot of AI images out there. It's because this went viral with many people thinking that this was the actual Pope. Because especially that first image, it is very hard to tell that that is an AI image. And if you are, especially if you're critical, of the church, if you are predisposed to believe that the church wastes a lot of money on stuff, then this plays into those suspicions. And so Pablo Xavier, the artist is saying that he had no intention of this going viral in this way. And now he's worried specifically about what effect these AI generated images of celebrities will have, potentially changing people's opinion of the celebrities in a way that can be hard to correct after the fact. River, what do you think about this? I mean, John, I'm gonna be totally honest. I've been spending a little less time on the internet and I saw that and I just assumed it was real because I didn't spend did. any time on it. <laughs> you yeah. know, so like, yeah, the, the AI stuff is, it, it's not, I mean, it's not a great thing <laughs> necessarily. It's stealing art from artists. And then it's also just like, I mean, it's not like my opinion was swayed. Like you said, it's like I'm predisposed to believe certain things about the figureheads of churches. So I was like, of course, like it's not mm -hmm. surprising. Like I didn't even know what kind of code it was, you know? So you think about the average person, which I consider myself to be like, yeah, it just went right past my eyeballs and I believed it. So like, yeah, I mean, but hey, here's the, here's, here's the, here's the positive. Uh, this is giving artistic power to a construction worker in Chicago, <laughs> you know, so like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a little bit power to the people as opposed to the media conglomerates, somewhat, you know, a little bit. I mean, I guess that's the positive. Um, great power comes great responsibility, Peter. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Uh, the issue is that while uh, thankfully Peter was responsible, uh, the masses probably in a lot of cases won't be. So that's why some people are worried. Pablo's worried, says uh, as a result of this, I feel like. Blank. It feels bad. It's crazy that these images are being used um, by people, you know, to think that this is an accurate representation. And he's calling for government regulation, saying the government needs to get involved. Look, I think that the government probably, in some way, will get involved in some of this. Um, and when they do, it will be interesting that because this deals that this can be used to attack like powerful people, the elites. I bet they will jump on it. <laughs> um, how slow have they been to deal with like revenge porn and stuff like that in past years when it just is regular people being affected by it. But the thing is, you can like you can generate images of politicians and business people. Um, they're obviously deep fakes, people doing this to produce pornography. And the, the, the difficult thing gets to the point of like, Technologically, can they actually stop this from being spread? Are the tools to detect it going to be as, um, you know, cutting edge as the ones to produce it, or will that just be a constant, like, you know, war? Um, and where do you draw the line? How realistic does an image have to be before it triggers this? I mean, you're allowed to draw Donald Trump if you want. These are basically just that, but better. A, a person plausibly could do a painting of Jimmy Carter that would be indistinguishable from a photograph. It's just harder, now almost anyone could do that. So I don't know where you draw that line. Um, I am assuming that anything anything violent, anything you know, like nudity and sexual stuff probably is going to be the easiest place to draw the line. But this is definitely gonna have to be an ongoing conversation. Any final thoughts? <laughs> I mean, wow, I have so many thoughts. I'm just like, <laughs> honestly, I'm like, 
just give people health care and a living wage and a place <laughs> to live, and they probably won't make violent images through AI. But I'm just like, yeah, you can make a painting that takes forever compared to AI that just cranks it out. I mean, I think as long as a human is making something that falls within a First Amendment right, but as when a machine is just making things, but the humans made the machine. So I don't know, man. I guess I got to watch yeah. Terminator 2 again. <laughs> it's the chicken and the AI egg. That's um, right. It's what That's it is. Right. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.